Hello everyone, uh, this is Dr. August de Oliveira from Digital Enamel and today I wanted to cover uh, using the new build in ExoCAD how to do an implant analog model uh, with a removable and reusable um, analog. As you can see behind me, we've got a couple of cheaper printers working out. We've got the $495 WANHAO duplicator uh, that's working on an analog model as we speak. And on the other side, we've got the Frozen Make XL, uh, which is printing out four test models. So we'll be covering those and more if you want to come to a 3D printing party. Uh, we have one in January 19 and 20 in Vegas. So check out Digital Enamel and uh, you can register there. So let's go ahead and get started. So uh, tooth number three is a tooth that we're working on. Before we do any of that, we need to enter in some data. Um, you know, ExoCAD currently this build is for dental labs. So it asks you for a lot more information than you probably uh, need. But uh, ExoCAD is coming out with a chair side version, which I'm kind of excited about, that will hopefully dumb down the process. But let's just go ahead and put in uh, implant three for this case. And we're gonna select number three over here under the job definition screen. So we're presented with a bunch of stuff to do. Um, in this case here, uh, we're going to be doing an anatomic crown. So an anatomic crown is something that's not cut back. And so if we click that, we're presented with a bunch of uh, material options and also um, five axis laser and 3D printing will be our sort of the way that we're gonna make this. Um, so just click on composite or whatever you want. Um, over here on the right, it's gonna ask you, do you want it implant base. So this is the same button I would do to make a temporary crown um, on a prep. So we're going to go ahead and select here. Yes, we wanted a screw retaining crown. Um, do you want to scan a pre-op model? No. Do we want to scan the gingiva separately? That's if that you're importing a gingival mask from a lab case, so we don't want that either. Design virtual gingiva? Well, this is a very cool feature, uh, but in this case, um, we've got a fairly good um, sort of crown to implant ratio. And so I don't anticipate needing virtual gingiva, so we'll hit OK. Um, now we're also going to tell um, ExoCAD that we want to um, use an opposing arch. And so to do that, we just click on the opposing arch and tell it that we have an antagonist. Also, we may want to also tell this that we have adjacent teeth. So we'll click on number four adjacent tooth number two adjacent tooth. And again, if you're used to systems like Syrac, it does all this stuff for you. Let's also tell, uh, tell ExoCAD how we want to articulate these models. So in this case here, we've got um, basically two stone models in occlusion. Um, there is an option here for digital impression scan. That's physically scanning an impression to invert it. So we'll click that and we'll hit save. Once we hit save, these options to, to the right get selected. Um, so let's go ahead, we'll click Model Creator, and in the next video, we'll go over some of the preliminary steps.